Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you clicked on my freshly shaven face. Yeah, I look like a child. Well, it's probably a good thing, right? It's probably good. Uh, maybe I look a little bit younger than I actually am. I'm, I'm still 35. Yeah, that sucks. But anyways, not here to talk about that. So, yesterday was day one of my transformation journey. And I've done, I, yesterday I did a lot like a mile and a mile and a quarter and I did some strength training and today going back to the gym, Monty's helping me out with this. So plan on doing the same thing. Uh, I eventually want to get to two miles a day um, and strength training and hopefully train with Chad every day he can. I am going tonight to meet him at Tartarus MMA um, for tra first day of training, uh, Chad's really, really has been really awesome about this, man. Like he's, he's actually lit a fire and Monty's lit a fire. And, you know, I know some people's like, Oh, you're fat and you're, you're going to lose. And, you know, I did have somebody say, Hey, you're going to fall flat on your face, which, you know, that's okay. That's happened to me several times. I've never, had a good track record. I mean, I've lost weight. I've had some successes, but I usually go back to the same thing. And, you know, it's my fault because I don't try hard enough. Well, this time I want to try hard as I possibly can. I want to do the best I can, not just for a fight, uh, but for a wedding, for my health, for the rest of my life. Uh, I don't want to die early. I'm tired of being on insulin, I'm tired of being on these medicines. That, you know, I, I don't care if people call me fat. That I'm used to that. Comes with the territory, at least in my in my experience, always comes with the territory. I've been called a fat boy all my life, uh, so it's I'm kind of immune to it. Uh, it doesn't really hurt my feelings, but you know, you do have uh, some some people that just like to use that as the only uh, insult they can think of. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm a troll too. I like to be a troll, so I'll troll back. That's my favorite thing. Um, Josh Abrams accepted the fight. He accepted it. And I'm really surprised he did. Um, not saying he was afraid, but he's a much bigger channel than mine. He has a much bigger channel than I do. Um, and in my opinion, I think he's pretty funny. Um, you know, I might not agree if everything he does, but from my experience so far... He's been a pretty good guy. Um, you know, I don't know a lot about his past and, you know, I don't want to dig too much into it um, because, you know, the more you dig into something, the worse somebody is. Uh, and I know that sounds hypocritical because we're doing that to Sweetie where we de deconstruct him pretty much inch by inch. Um, but again, I, like I said, you know, whatever you guys feel about Josh, um, I understand. Um, I cannot be the judge for everybody. Uh, but from my experience so far, he's been a pretty cool dude. Um, so the fight f f with Sweetie and uh, Chad is going to be on September the 24th now. Um, Chad actually tried to talk to the promoter to see if he could add um, Josh and I to that event. Um, it looks like that's not going to happen that route. Uh, I just reached out to another promoter. Um, what are they called? They are called uh, FTC Wrestling. Uh, they're they're kind of in this tri-state area, and they usually have some matches. So I, I reached out to them um, to see if maybe they would accommodate a charity fight between us two. Um, I don't know if they'll do it because it's boxing and I don't know what levels it has to do. We're going to try to find a way to do this. Okay. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, Josh and I, uh, you know, I, I'm going to train my ass off for n no matter how long it takes. I'm going to do my best. And like I said, if Josh beats me, then, you know, that's, that's a good deal. It's fine. I, I come to expect it. I'm not a fighter. Um, but if I beat him, I'd be pleasantly surprised. That's mean all my hard work paid off. Um, but I don't want to go in as an enemy. I don't want to fight Josh as an enemy. Uh, that's not the goal. We're doing it for a good cause. 
Um, and if the anything that comes out of this is we build the community, we help charity, rather it be St. Jude's or su a suicide um, f a centered charity, and we make friends. That's that's all that matters to me. Um, you know, this this is all new to me, guys. This really is. This uh, the fight thing. I, I I said I've never been to a fight before. Never been in a fight. I came close, but I never actually participated in a fight aside from like you know in middle school or something uh just like those you know pretend you're a wrestler type thing but another thing that really caught me off guard yesterday was during sweetie stream where he was talking about trying to make money off the fight not just charity money but actual money and having people bet against it for mo for more money on the fight. Uh, he said he's fine with making money on it. Honestly, this was originally set up for a charity thing. This is what it was for. It was for charity. Nobody was supposed to really make money from it. It was all charity. If anything, part of the ticket sales would go to the promoter at least. Um, but from what we wanted from the beginning. And I, I'd say Chad could say the same thing is that, um, it was for charity. That's what it was for is why, why it was even thought up of. So whenever you, if you want to look again, he, that sweetie said he is going to make a website where people can send money through. That's exactly what he said last time about creating a portal, sending him money to that portal instead of sending a link, a specific link that we include in most of our streams and videos directly to St. Jude. Do not, do not fall for that shit. Do not do that. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And, you know, I, uh, I, I don't understand how somebody, especially his, you know, crew of people that follows him, that was all for this. I don't understand. That's the most hypocritical thing about it. The fact that you're willing to take money away from kids that have cancer. That's basically what you're wanting to do. You, you know, you can say and try to weasel your way out of it, but that's exactly what you're trying to fucking do. And you're a piece of shit. You're not going to beat Chad. It's not going to happen. You're going to run your mouth and you're going to come down here and you're going to learn really quick. You're going to learn really quick and you're going to knock your super fast ego down a few notches. You are super hyper fast. And I know you have dreams about Chad because you said you have. Also, by the way, uh, what is up with some of your uh, followers having uh, problems with the LGBT community? I, uh, I came across uh, one of your little cronies message me here on YouTube. I, I, it sounded pretty homophobic to me. And some of the stuff you said the other day saying you was the, I, wait, wait, let me preface this. Hey, I've got gay friends. So therefore I'm not a homophobe. You know, you said that basically, but you also said, yeah, yeah. I was the Pamela Anderson for gay men. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. You're a pretty good looking dude. I'm not going to lie, but to be that high on yourself, you, you've got this ego, this big ego. Like, I don't understand how it could be that high. And you're truly confident. Um, and that's, that's good to be confident. But someday, somebody's going to knock that confidence level down a few. I've never seen one video of you fighting. People say it exists, but I've looked all over the place and do not... Did not see it. it. And all the people you said you fought, these big people like Chuck Liddell and people like that, Joe Rogan, none of these people know you. I didn't hear from Joe Rogan, but I think it was Chuck Liddell and maybe Ken Shanrock. They don't fucking know you and they don't stand for you. Like, they don't want to know you. So you lied about that. Uh, I mean, you might have been a fighter in middle school, and, you know, you're, you're pretty built. You're pretty built. You might be fast. You can do those sprints nonstop. That's what you do. Just 
Sprint, 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 sprint. And I know it's crazy coming from a fat ass that could barely walk up the stairs. But you know what? At least I'm not trying to steal money from kids with cancer. At least I'm not trying to do that. At least I'm not pretending to be for the African American community or the LGBTQ community. Just because you have black friends or that you have gay friends does not mean that you are exempt from that. And this is my opinion, by the way. I, I can't prove any of these things. I can't. So if you want to call it defamation, it's just my opinion. And I'm allowed to have an opinion on the internet. So there, there, let's go with that. And before you, before you start the whole, hey, I'm going to get on top of you and fuck your ass, uh, bad dude, bad Derek. Ooh, you're so bad. You're, you're so piece of shit, Derek. Ooh, that's, that's what you sound like when it, you're, you sound like a fucking child. Honestly, you do. You sound like a child. Um, and I know yeah, you got a small channel. You're not big. You're just talking about me because it's going to make you big. It's easy. It's easy. You make it easy for anybody. Anybody. You're that big of an idiot. Most of the people that watch you, watch you because you're embarrassing. People like train wrecks. So when you come to Kentucky to get your money from this fight, which that's what you want to do, just, just remember what you're taking away from these kids. Just remember what you're taking away from these kids. That's on you. That's on you. And, you know, you saying you was, didn't believe in God, but now you're all, you're a God lover now and all this stuff. I don't believe one bit of that shit. You're just trying to appeal to the lowest common denominator of people in your community. And most of them are. Most of them. Most of the people that interact with you on your chat are fucking crazy. They don't know. It's easy to pretend you're smart to get people to follow you. You can look at history book and see this happens all the time. Somebody promises the world and it goes down the drain. And you find out how horrible of a person you really are. And I hope that's you. I know that's you. I know that's you. You're a grifter and you're a total piece of shit. There's no way you can convince me otherwise. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. If if you guys want to donate to St. Jude's or any charity whatsoever, make sure it's legit. Don't go to a third party like Sweetie creating a website or portal. Do not do that. You send it straight to the actual websites. Or if you need to send it via Telegram, don't do that. If I was to post a link and it was not directly to either St. Jude or any other charity, a legit charity, you call me out on that because I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's going to go straight to that charity. It's That's how it is. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I want to keep up the work. Uh, I weighed in this morning. Pretty embarrassed. <laughs> but that's going to pay off, I hope. You know, I hope I don't fall on my face like I always do. I hope I don't. But guys, thank you so much for watching. We're so close to 1,500 followers. If we can get there, that would be amazing. Be so awesome. Um, I Like I said, I'm thankful for you guys. And I love you. And I'll see you soon.